Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn here, and I am back with the first video in the Corporate to Carefree series. I kind of kicked it off the other day when I did the video about death to the side hustle, right? And kind of talked about just the power of your words, kind of as a precursor for what we're going to be talking about all throughout this series. And the first video that I wanted to do in this Corporate to Carefree How to Survive Your Day Job while building your daydream is just kind of give you a layout of what I'm going to be sharing with you and then give you an opportunity to let me know anything that you would like me to share and things like that and you know you you know how we do you, you you know how we do. So basically, um, the video series is going to be broken into two parts, which is surviving your day job, right? Like, so how do you not lose your mind and be stressed out and go crazy while you're still working your day job? And then also building your daydream. So how do you start building up that supplemental income that you eventually want to become your full time income, your full time job, your full time business, etc. Right. So how do you build up that supplemental business, your side business or your business or your company, but also how not to go crazy in the process? Because I think a lot of people forget that, you know, doing two things at the same time can be very difficult. Having to switch from the mindset of an employee to an entrepreneur day in and day out can be very exhausting. So with that being said, uh, let's get right into this video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about putting your job in its proper place. And I will tell you that this right here is like the first and foremost thing I had to do when I was like, okay, how am I really going to get on the path to being a full-time entrepreneur, a full-time business owner, a full-time, even when I was still have my side business or my business was still the side thing like what did i need to do and so the biggest thing was is i had to put my job in its proper place which means my job was no longer my identity when people ask me what i did for a living i didn't even mention my job my job became my working capital right so literally my job like so instead of going to get investors instead of going to get a business loan my job became my working capital and i treated it as such right so it's not that i started doing a bad job or anything like that but i really had to say my goal is to maximize the revenue that i get out of this job so if that needs if that means i need to be building relationships if that needs if that means i need to be keeping the peace if that means i need to change jobs to make more money if that means i need to put in you know better boundaries whatever i need to do for that job to be my working capital and just to remember that this job is now funding my business or my company for whatever period of time that that's what i need to do so the biggest thing i can tell you is what do you need to do to let go of the attachment of the job while still doing a really really good job really understanding what the real game is at work and i don't even want to call it a game but the rules of engagement are and if you guys watch my um Corporate America hacks, everybody should know before starting their side hustle, even though I, that was before I did Death to the Side Hustle. But if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it below or in the cards or something like that. But you want to watch that video because I go into detail about knowing what it takes to be successful in corporate America that we really don't think about. And so if you haven't watched that, I would watch that and then that'll help you put your job in its proper place. So I will say this to start of the series, I really think you should get a notebook or something like that and start writing down because I'm going to give you things to do throughout this series. Like how do I need to reframe my mindset about what my job is to me, what my job does for me, my attachment to my job. How do I take my identity out of my job? I know for me, when I changed careers, even before I went into entrepreneurship, before I changed careers and I was an engineer, before I was a chef, I remember I was so attached to being an engineer that I was so used to saying, oh yeah, you know, I'm a chemical and environmental engineer and blah, blah, blah. And then people be like, oh, who do you work for? And I was, you know, my company was like a fortune 50 company, you know, a fortune 100 company, not even just a fortune 500. And so people were like, Oh, and the validation, I'm just going to be honest that I, I, I didn't realize till later that I got from that. I had to let go of that and adjust right to, I'm just Evelyn who happens to do this for the living. And then when I became a chef, like I still was kind of attached to that identity of being an engineer. And then I had to let go of that. And then when I was a chef and I was working in different places, I wouldn't even mention my business. I would tell people what I did for at my job. And then one day I was like, 
if that's not where I want to go and if that's not where I want to build, then I need to stop publicizing that and advertising that. Not that it needs to become a secret or in whatever, but it's like, it's no longer the focus. This is where I go to get the money to build my business, right? And I didn't have to tell people that anymore. And so when people ask me what I did is, I'm a freelance chef. And then some people, you know, they slick because they nosy. And usually what I find is when people ask you this question that I'm about to mention, it's because they themselves have a desire to do something outside of their job and they just don't believe that people are actually out here doing it. And so people would ask me, is that what you do full time? Well, and here's the thing. The question becomes, what, what indicates full time? Because if you're asking me if I'm putting in the same amount of hours in my side business that I'm doing in my day job, then, then I was probably putting in more hours because I was working in the evenings, I was staying up late, I was doing stuff on the weekends, I was getting up early, sometimes I was working at work, don't judge me, lunch breaks, breaks. So if you're going from an hour perspective, then yes, this is my main job. You know what I mean? And here's the thing. Why does it even matter? Listen, that's not even the point of this video. But the point is of this video is that the first thing I think you really need to do in order to kind of get your mindset ready for the transition that you want to make is put your job in its proper place. And when you put your job in its proper place and you have resolved that this is my working capital, it will affect the decisions that you make and the decisions that you make will affect the actions that you make, right? So if you say this is my working capital and I'm no longer my identity and all that is no longer attached to that, then it becomes, well, then if it's just a job, right, that I'm still going to do really well on, I'm still going to be a high performer, I'm still going to do this within reason, then the way I move through my day and my weeks and my months are going to change because I have shifted my focus. Because that's basically what I'm saying, that you're shifting your focus, that you're still going, listen, you still have to be a good employee. You still have to understand the, the rules of engagement if you have a corporate nine to five or whatever kind of day job that you have. Because listen, you don't want to lose your working capital before you're ready to release it. I'm going to say that again for one time for the people in the back. You don't want to lose your working capital until you're personally ready to release it so you want to make sure that you are still doing well there but your focus has changed so now it's like hmm in my free time you know or my what am I, my thoughts are more so on building my business so anyway you guys um, that's the first video in this series please let me know what you have questions about you know putting your job in its proper place and 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 I'm, ex I'm so excited, you guys, because I want to tell you something, if you're still watching, if you're still watching, if you're still watching, that uh, I, I, I'm so excited about. So I have been passionate about teaching people about, you know, business and, and supplemental income and following their passion and changing their careers. And you guys know this. You've watched my Leaving Corporate America series. You've watched my Find Your Flavor series. You watched my Side Hustle series, right? And so now I'm doing the Corporate to Carefree and I've created a workbook. Oh my gosh. And I'm so excited because there's only so much I can give you in these videos and so much time I can give away for free. Let's just be real because entrepreneurship, right? <laughs> but I've created a ebook slash workbook that where I go into detail, not only about the things that I'm going to be sharing with you over the next couple of weeks in this series, but additional things like tangible things that you can actually do to one, survive your day job and two, build your daydreams. Because a lot of you had questions about where do I start? When do I know that it's time to leave? And all those questions are great, but they're, they're missing a lot of information that, um, you know, not are not always best in video form. Like sometimes you're gonna actually have to sit down and do the work. So I'm excited about it. It's available for pre-order. Um, as I put the finishing touches on it, I've actually been holding on to it for some time. And I was like, you know what? Like I feel like I'm doing you a disservice when if I have all this information and I'm not sharing, right? Like so many of the things that I've learned, you guys know I've actually quit and come back like three times to corporate America. So I know what it's like to, to leave early, to leave late, to leave right on time. Like I, I know what it's like to be, okay, I got to manage 
actually having a day job, but then building my business. I know what it's like to be on the business side. I know what it's like to be on the corporate side. I know what it's like to change careers. I know all of that. And so I was like, you know what? We've been rocking together for a long time. And I've, like I said, I've given you Leaving Corporate America. I've given you Find Your Flavor. I've given you, you know what I'm saying, uh, the side hustle. But I, this one, I feel like I was like, I feel like you needed something meatier and more tangible because I know this is where a lot of you are because I know that this is the, like the, the most difficult part is that transition. So um, if you would like to pre-order the Corporate to Care Free How to Survive Your Day Job While Building Your Daydream ebook slash workbook, I will leave the link in the description to this video. And uh, make sure you follow me all over the web at Chef Evelyn if you enjoy food. So this is more behind the scenes of Chef Evelyn. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, um, Pinterest, Snapchat, all is Chef Evelyn. So, uh, yeah, y'all. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.